What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame. Oh, it's your boy, that boy, Bari. And this is Jay Willow, the podcast killer, man. This is Willow Wednesdays. And guess what? We are now here talking about some shit that just happened. Just happened. Recently just happened. Um, Governor Andrew Cuomo has resigned. Um, he put in his two weeks notice. <laughs> <laughs> and he no longer will be the governor of the great city of New York. And guess what? We're here to talk about it. How we how Let's we feel about, about it. it. He got some sexual assault allegations. Um, Eleven no, women harassment, be, sexual harassment, sexual harassment, sexual harassment. My bad. Let, let's let's say the, the right terminology. But um, here at Willow Wednesdays, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna dissect it. We're gonna give you our opinions on it, and then we will get the fuck up out of here, bro. So yeah, how, how we feel about this, brothers? All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't know how to feel because. You know, in the eyes of the world, the moment that you, a woman says something against you, it's automatically looked a certain way. But then at the same mm. time, I understand originally when the brother said I didn't do anything, so I'm not stepping down. But now he's like, I'm stepping down. So it's like, I don't know what to think about him at this point in time right now. Mm. It's, it's a real sticky situation. Because if you're on his side, you look crazy. If yeah. you're not on his side, it's like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Because it's real iffy all of a sudden now the brother legitimately, it, I would say, what is it, a seven, eight, six, seven, eight months span from when he first said that he didn't do it, he didn't do it and he's not stepping down now, all of a sudden he's stepping down because right. of the allegations. So it's like, what's I mean, really what's really going on over here? We don't, I really don't know. So I don't even know what to say about mm. it personally. It's real confusing. No, I get it. I get it. Um yeah. My opinion is, if you do the crime, you got to do the time. Uh, he did take responsibility, you know, for for doing whatever they said he did, even though he, you know, it's a little different between the charges and, you know, um, I may have done that, I may not have done it, but he did he took responsibility. So at some point, if you're taking responsibility for it, you got to just assume that something happened and, you know, that's it. He what's the funny thing he said? He said I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a creep. I'm Italian. He said some shit like that, and that's <laughs> that shit was mad funny. It's I don't know what too, possessed him to yeah, say that's, that's it. Funny. He said I'm not racist. I'm Italian. That's what he said. Mm. That shit was funny. No, like that. It sounded like that. Nah, that shit had me racist. dying on the gram. That shit was funny. <laughs> that's funny. Listen, nah. I, I'm I'm gonna say this, and once again, I'm the radical one, but it's okay. I'm going to say um, there's an agenda. Um, mm. I'm going to say that this is highly political. Mm. I'm going I'm to say that... <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to say that this man didn't do this shit. Oh! Fuck it. Oh. I, now, if, if this is early in the game, I don't know it to be true or not. I don't want to be labeled the victim blaming victim blaming person. But right. I will say this. It's very ironic that uh the leader of New York City, which is known as a democratic state, mm. especially a democratic city, he he vehemently was opposed to Donald Trump. He didn't mm. fuck with the vaccinations for real. Like mm. he always kept it real. Like this whole pandemic, this was the individual who was giving us the real that what we wanted. CNN was, because it was under Trump, CDC was all fucked up, Trump wasn't giving us the right news. Right. But we can always count on Governor Cuomo to come on New York One. He's giving the real. He's like, listen, we might be in a fucked up situation, but if we do this, we can get out of it. If we do this, we can get out of it. If we do this, but not do that, it can be better. He was always keeping it a buck with his, the people who lived in his city. And I feel like... Definitely. Government didn't like that. The powers that be didn't like that. So how do you how do you silence somebody like that? Throw some shit on them. That's it. Muddy the waters a little bit. Throw some mm-hmm. dirt on him. Honestly, I, I feel like he was running for president. Bro, all last year, Governor Cuomo was in his bag, bro. Like he he was the individual. They were they were putting his press conferences on national television every day. So people in other cities and other states were seeing what he was doing. 
and they they weren't seeing the the president. Like he was out daily. Niggas was you not get, fucking with Trump, but they was fucking why. with Cuomo. You got to so, remember why too. I, I do feel like this is kind of like I said. I, I don't know all the. the I, I don't want to be the victim blaming. And and if he did this, then throw him under the jail. I, I'm all for that. But it's so ironic that somebody who is so strongly opinionated and somebody who's going against status quo now all of a sudden they got. 11 charges of sexual right. conduct. Like, it's just, it's kind of like the, the, the Deshaun Watson shit. Like, he no longer wants to play for you, so now all of a sudden he has 40 counts of rape. It's like, come on now. Like, what are we doing here? All right. Like, well, my bad. I do be wrapping up soon, don't I? <laughs> like I said, my, my, stance, my stance is this. It's innocent until proven guilty. He but did. really not, though. What, what it, 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 it's not, especially in the court of public opinion, because right. we're so quick, especially social media, we're so quick to crucify, we're so quick to hang you, and it's over for you. Cancel culture right. is real. Yeah. Um, I do, I, I, I just don't know. I, I, I personally just feel like it's higher powers at play right now. Right. I feel like he became too powerful, right. and this is how you check an individual who's too powerful. You pull that card. You, you. I was doing my fault, Brian. You, you pull that card that you can't. You can't go against, you know, because you can never go against somebody's opinion of how they feel that they were treated. Right. So yes. once you, once you hit that, you know, it's like ah, well, yeah, yeah. you know, like so I, that's a that's a tough card to play. But I do agree; it's it's probably a reason. What do you think, we, Brian? Real we, quick, we spoke. I remember we spoke about this on a previous episode where um. You can never take into account how a young lady feels if she feels uncomfortable or she feels a way about a, feels a way about a situation. Correct. So now, because of that, he could have just been, you know, at a at a at a city function or something, a little tipsy, a little inebriated, and he hugs Shorty like, "Yo, oh my God, I ain't seen you in a long time. I missed you so much. Give her a kiss on the cheek." Now, sis feels uncomfortable. That can come off as sexual harassment. Now, I'm not saying that it's not sexual harassment because it can be. But he could have genuinely just been trying to show Shorty some love. Oh, I ain't see you in a long time. Oh my God, how you doing? That's it. That's now, why because she feels uncomfortable, which she has a right to feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Now he, this man is labeled a, a, a creep, a, a sexual, sex, sexual offender. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying mm. if he, I'm not saying that he's not. But it's just, it's hard to fight when somebody feels a way about something. So the moment I say I, f- I, 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 I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Um, men, we do shit that is creepy. Sometimes, like like pet names, yeah, baby, sweetie, boo boo, like all this shit. It can be creepy. Men do that. I'm not absolving him, right? Right. At the same, at the same time. I do believe in giving people the benefit of the doubt, especially if they show contrary. Right. Now, I don't know this man from a hole in the wall. So I'm not going to say I know the nigga. I don't know this man from nothing. Never met him nothing. You want me to call him? Get the exclusive? Yeah, call him up. Like, call him up. <laughs> let, 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 him, let him come to Willow Wednesday so we can talk about it. But, I, 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 like, all jokes aside, I, I will say, watching this man govern... I don't mm-hmm. see him as that. Um, everything that he said in the press conference seemed genuine. Mm-hmm. On the flip side, what he did say was, I take full responsibility for my actions. Exactly. Which we can't let that slide. He did say that. Um, he also said that uh, one of the accusers said that they were in an elevator and he put his hand on her lower back um, as a as they were greeting each other, he put his hand on her lower back, and as he was leaving the elevator, he touched her, her stomach, and then walked out of the elevator. Now, what he said to that was, he said, "I don't remember that situation, but if it were to happen, I believe it." Now, if he said that, and he did say that, then sir, that's some creepy shit. Why, mm. why are you touching lower backs and stomachs? I get it. Trust me, I'm not absolving him. But what I'm saying is, until everything comes out, I just can't publicly denounce this man. Right? Got to give him the great. We got to give him the great. We have to give people. We have to start giving people the grace and 
to defend themselves right. and and do all of these things to 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 show that hey, I am a creep or hey, I'm not a creep. It just be the once once person say you a creep, all of a sudden you label that forever. So let's do it no like coming this. Back from that. Let's do it like so. this real quick. For the people watching, let us know in the comments what you think, man. Do you think the man is guilty? <laughs> or do you think he's innocent? Because <laughs> we need to know, and we just want to know, man. Let us know if you agree with us, you disagree with our points, you, you know. Um, so, like, like I said, let I, us know. I personally feel like his greater powers at play. I feel like he became too powerful. We heard your opinion, man. We yeah, word. Cut opinion. your mic. All right. All right. All right. We, we, wrap we wrapped it up. It up. It's rapping, sir. You New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> I, Cuomo my nigga too, bro. I fuck with him. All right, we out, yo. Yo, Cuomo twenty twenty four. Fuck all Listen, that. Listen, like, share, subscribe, <laughs> all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? We out, we out, we out. Gang, <laughs> man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate thanks, the thanks, support. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, 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 and click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace. Wow.